DOS 2 has a lot of packages, but what if you need to add external library or create your own library for computational purposes? Hi there, I am Lukman and uh, we will be looking into creating custom libraries for ROS2 Python package and C++ package in this lecture. And I hope you have not forgotten about the ROS2 Python package that we created similar to the C++ package and understood basics of configurations. In Python, we have modules like in C++ we have libraries. Modules are nothing else than a simple Python file that contains classes, functionalities, variables inside of it independent of the other main code that you are running. In our case, it is the Python node we are running for ROS2. We have to simply import it into our node file that is compiled with ROS2 packages. Just one important thing, it should be at a place where the init file is present. So this was our basic node that is printing hello world every two seconds which the code we can see simply publishing and printing on the screen as well. Python packages have modules as libraries in C++ and they require a simple condition of being created in the same directory where init file is. We will call it robot movement dot pi just to represent basic understanding of these modules. Now it is going to have a basic definition of a class robot movement. This class is going to have two functions as move forward and move backward. Both of these are going to have a print statement. and it is just going to simply print it. You can add functionality. So the main purpose of this lecture is to just have a understanding how to add modules. Once this is added, you are going to go inside of your main node file and simply say from Python package that your current package is dot robot movement. It automatically tells you robot movement, import the name of the class that you want to import and that is robot movement. Once that is done, you need to create a object of this class self dot robot is equal to robot movement. Now the object has been created. We can call it and it automatically logs because we have a print statement there. So we simply call self dot robot dot move backward and we call this. Whenever the data is logged on the screen, it is also going to log the backward function which if you open it is simply logging it. And that's how simple it is to add custom modules inside of your ROS2 Python based packages. You can have multiple of them if they are in another directory, let's say it's Python package and you want to add another one like Python OpenCV package. It's not a ROS2 package, but it's a custom library that you want to segment into different portions. Then you give a different path with a dot dash to go into the back directory. Now let's compile it and run it with the same command. Call can build ROS2 run Python package and Python node. And let's see what happens. Hello world and backward is also printing. So our new module robot movement is integrated and we are calling its function. And C++ system is different than Python. We are going to be having a header file that contains the heads of all the functions we have the C++ file that contains the functionality of the functions in header file. So that creates a library. Now that whole library header file in C++ is included into your ROS node, but this process of adding into ROS node is explained to your system in the CMake list. It is confusing for starters, but once all the dots connect, it makes sense. The C++ package we have is executing its node, which is just printing out hello from my CPP node, which is this specific line. And it is going to only do once because it's inside of the constructor. In C++, things are very complicated as compared to Python because we have to understand the concepts, how it is working. First of all, let's create a file named as robot movement.cpp. And I'm going to copy it because we need to create a header file of the same name specifically. Now we have the CPP and the header file. Let's bring the header file on this side and fill in the values as we did for our Python based robot movement. This is the content of C++ and these are the content for our header file. 
header file contains nothing else than two functions inside of a class io stream library is also included because we are printing on the screen these two functions move forward and move backward have this functionality which is defined in the c++ file so we are going to be adding header file in our basic node because header files is already linked to your C++ file. The same way as it is included here, I am going to bring it into our basic node of ROS to C++. That's how we just add it into our basic node, CPP package, robot movement.hpp, which is this file. It's inside of include, but we will configure it in such a way that it will find it through CMake list. Now, once that is done, we have to first create an object and we can do that in public, but I prefer it to do in private. Private and from the class, which is named as robot movement, it can automatically find it because we have given the path robot underscore. That's the instance we have created of this robot movement class. Now, once node has been created, we are going to be linking this library to add its functionality robot underscore and create an object. We will utilize that object robot underscore dot move forward to call the functions of this class, which is robot movement. This is confusing if you are not, if you don't have the basic understanding of how C++ works, but adding a header file is a little bit complex. This lecture is all about adding your custom library into ROS2 node. In a nutshell, from the programming side, this is it. This is how simply you add things. To tell the system that when you are processing this basic node, compiling it and adding and connecting with the ROS2 packages, keep in mind that you are also going to compile directly this robot movement.cpp as well because we have added its functionality into the basic node. That's how simple it is. But before compiling, we need to include the directories of include, meaning we can have multiple directories being included and which directory we are including, the one named as include, which is this. So when in basic node, it is going to compile things, it is going to come up with this link and it is going to start searching in cpp package robot movement.hpp where it is where it is where it is it is going to then come to the include directory because we have told it you are going to search in this cpp package robot movement it is directly going to find it let's now perform call can build and run the node as well and here we can see it says hello from cpp node which is from here and moving forward, which is taken from robot movement.cpp. That is an external custom library that we have added into our ROS2 node moving forward. We can also add move backward. And similarly, we can add multiple classes here and we tell them in C make list. Although I don't prefer this way of directly targeting and linking the source files into your main node code but add it as a library, but that would become very complex for this first lecture. So I kept it simple. So now you are quite powerful in terms of understanding how to bring your libraries or someone else libraries and make your ROS2 development strong. This is a very useful skill and it empowers you with CMake list for C++ development. And you think about, wow, CMake list is a good system that they have built and made our life quite easy. I actually work on C++ mostly. Setup.py, I don't have that much experience with the modules, neither with the Python as compared to CMake list for development purposes. And it's great.